Hello and welcome to this ONTR Montreal video, Black Cat XKR. This is video 149 in our series of XK videos. In this video, we're going to feature this very, very rare US um, Jaguar XKR. Now, I'd like to introduce Rotten Gill's Black Cat. <laughs> What a noisy introduction there to um, Rotten Gill's very exclusive Black Cat XKR. It's um, VIN number A45786. Um, in this video, we're going to go through um, the uh, history and the background behind the Black Cat in four sections. First of all, the background, how the car came about. Second, the specification. Third, the value of these, this, these cars in 2021. And fourthly, or lastly, uh, a bit of a look at Rotem's uh, car A45786. If you're interested in this video, you're going to be interested in our channel, ONDR Module. It uh, has a lot of content about Jaguar XKR, XK8, X100s. If you're interested, please take a look at more stuff on the channel. And if you like the video, please don't forget to press the thumbs up. Okay, section one, the background behind the, this car. Now, the worldwide sales of the X100 bombed out in uh, uh, 2004. So by the time the car was in its last year of production, 2005, they were really struggling to shift cars, especially in the United States. So you, you, United States dealers um, tried to find marketing ways to get rid of those last cars, especially as the new aluminium X150 had already started production in early 2006 and it was left with quite a lot of cars in stock. So Jaguar commissioned five of these um, sp manufacturer special order cars. Um, actually, possibly only five were actually ever made to try and excite uh, some interest in the last of the old model cars. So spruce them up a bit, make them more appealing, had these sort of halo cars that hopefully would help them sell the more normal X100 XKRs, they were still left in stock. The car had a documented horsepower of 457 and um, uh, BHP and uh, 481 pound foot of torque. The original sticker price on these cars was $118,000, um, meaning that roughly there's about $30,000 worth of special order options in each car. So they weren't cheap by any means. Uh, this car was was all done professionally through Jaguar California dealers. Uh, it wasn't um, just stickers, etc. It was done at quite a high standard. And you can tell these cars because of the special high-gloss paint and the Jaguar Leaper holographic paint, or it's actually metallic paint, on the both, both sides of the doors. There is a bit of a reference from Jaguar Heritage Trust Archive, um, one of the... Um, people there uh, wrote to a forum member I think it was through Jaguar forums and I'll just read what the reply was when they were uh, they were asking about the Black Cat edition the Black Cat edition was a US only car uh, Jaguar North American disposed of X company cars at auction and they would be create they would create these special editions we believe that five black cars, cat cars were produced and modified by Fabier Productions International in California the typical modifications were a custom paintwork with a ghost leaper on both sides, stainless steel borer exhaust system, black finished front grille, mesh grille, brake calipers and dual exhaust tips, uh, piano black uh, veneer, our logo embroidered Recaro seats. We're not sure that all the cars had all these modifications, but assume they did. Hope that helps. Kind regards, Jaguar Heritage Trust Archive. So the Jaguar Heritage don't really know what the cars were about, but they had heard of them. The um, the cars actually um, 
were a follow-on from a edition, a uh, special edition, the Sterling Moss X car edition that the Jaguar dealers and uh, uh, Pat Ward had created previously. So it's a bit of a follow-on from that. It was That was very successful. And if you want to know more about that car and a bit more of the history of these sort of dealer specials, take a look at video 140 on our channel. Section two then, the specification. Um, all these cars are based on model year 2006 XKRs, basically high, specific, specif high specification cars at the end of production. The cars were all modified by Scott Fabier Productions International. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us, but he was a very high quality uh, car um, modifier. The claim BHP, as I say, is 457 from the AJ34 4.2 litre V8 supercharged engine, which at standard was 400 BHP. It's not 100% clear um, how they reached that specification because there's no actual detail sheets available. However, we believe it could be done with uh, the pulley upgrade to upgrade the boost pressures, some increased fuel pressures. Uh, the exhaust um, had a sports um, uh, CAT system. The induction system had obviously had uh, some tuning as well, and the ECU would be mapped. A typical tuning for an AJ27, the 4 litre, which standard was 370 bhp, was quite commonly tuned, uh, at least in the UK, to 430 bhp, an increase of 60. That in percentage term is 16%. So for an AJ32 putting out a standard 400 bhp, a uh, 16% increase would be 465. So it, it's it's in the realms of possibility. And obviously, it gives you quite a lot more oomph. 16% more power. Yeah, nice. I say, the, going through the details of each of the changes, obviously based on 2006 cards, but there's lots of little uh, touches. The main one are these glass, uh, gloss, the gloss, black gloss paint with these metallic leaper. Uh, painted on the side of the doors. They're not stickers. It's not a, a, a tacky modification. These are really um, high quality, big flake metallic uh, leapers on the side. And it's a bit of a sleeper. <laughs> yeah, the, these cars are very un, unassuming, apart from these leaping Jaguars on the side. It, these are real sleeper cars with high quality bits on them. The metallic leaper is actually followed through into the passenger airbag cover. If we have a quick look at it here, you can see the sort of, it's very difficult to see, but you can see the glint in the metallic flakes on that airbag. And it's the same on the doors. Really high quality stuff. Obviously, we've got the Recaro Sport seats. Aluminium dial surrounds. Um, we've got the sat nav um, in this car has been removed and three center dials have been added. I think that's uh, uh, been done afterwards. The aluminium pedals, uh, tinted windows, titanium tints in this case, uh, the black front grille, actually black front headlights, uh, thermal research or Boris uh, exhaust systems. I, I don't think they were very particular which one. Both uh, give a uh, high performance. In uh, the particular car we're looking at, uh, Rotten, he's actually got the thermal research. Um, and development uh, exhaust system, all nice stainless steel stuff. Obviously, it's got lowered sport suspension, uh, Brembo brakes, cross tilt discs, as standard on XKRs from model year 2003. Not that that's special, but uh, and the 20 inch, the the must have alloy wheel for any X100, the 20 inch BBS Detroit alloy wheels. Uh, need I say any more? So what is the value of these cars in 2021? Well, the new price, as we say, was about $118,000. Um, that was back in two, uh, 20, 2006. The, this Rotten's car had been sold for about 29500 at some point in its life. I saw some history from uh, Vintage Motors of Sarasota. They, they'd sold one. Um there was an addition that actually sold for $89,000. When that was sold, I'm not particularly sure. You can see that on 20, 2040 cars. 
the Sterling Moss edition, which is a very similar uh, specification car, obviously, but in silver with the sports Jaguar racing stripes, sold recently for $85,000, believe it or not. And the prices of these cars, I believe, has bottomed out, and they are starting to rise. They're not going to fall much further. So um, I think uh, Rotten's car is is good. Is uh, is 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 good for I don't know anything up to eighty thousand pounds. I mean, uh, it's the same number of cars built. Obviously, it hasn't got the Sterling Moss uh, endorsement, but the car is basically the same specification, and it has those lovely Leaper uh, designs on, which are are very classy. Uh, so let's have a look at Rotten's car A four five seven eight six. As I say, this is his VIN number. It was manufactured in, um, sorry, February 2005, not January. Uh, it's a, nine, a 2006 model year. It's extremely low mileage as per that uh, Silverstone's car that sold for $85,000. It's uh, 21,781 miles currently or there, thereabouts. And it's extremely good condition. Acceleration, right turn. I think you can tell, uh, looking at uh, just listening to him cruising around in that, that it's a very subtle exhaust noise. He had the windows open there, so it's a really nice sound cruising around with that deep uh, V8 burble. Who doesn't like that? Um, finally, we'll just have a bit of a walk around of his car with the exhaust noise. Sorry about this gratuitous use of uh, exhaust noise. I've recently bought an electric car, so it's a little bit of therapy. I need a bit of therapy. Um, so there you go, a bit of a insight into the black cat. Um, thanks to Rotten Gill for sharing the information and the little videos about his car. And thanks to Fabia International for making this extremely rare and special um, car. If you're interested in, lot, uh, in limited edition, there are lots and lots of X100 limited editions. From the factory, we had the Silverstone P1, P2, the 100, the 400 portfolio, carbon fiber, 4.2S and Victory. The dealer editions were the Strathstone in the UK and then the Sterling Moss and Black Cat in the US. Aftermarket, lots of choices again. There's a Typhoon and Tempest, the Arden Taipei, the Merlin, the Burberry. And um, still available are the uh, Grantly, the Z-Max, and the Paragon. Lots and lots of limited edition guys. And we're going to try and cover them all. We're halfway through or so, and we we're going to get through them all. Um, if you're a black cat owner, I've only been able to ca uh, contact Rotten. If you're a black cat owner, I'd really love to hear from you. If we've made any mistakes or there's errors, or you've ideally got additional information, please contact us. We really would like to, um, to hear about them. Thank you, uh, Roten, for all your help and thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that. Please like, comment, share and subscribe for more x videos.